Hello, I'm Kimon Francis. Amid recent stone throwing incidents, a call is being made for fencing to be erected on the bridge located on the Linstead leg of the North South Highway to protect motorists from robbers. Nefarious persons have been using the vantage point to throw stones at passing vehicles with the intention of robbing motorists if they stop to investigate. Gun possession and trafficking charges have been laid against three men who were apprehended in a vehicle in a car park at the state-owned oil refinery Petrojam. They are 21-year-old Akeem Moore, 23-year-old Ryan Morrison, and 29-year-old Nicholas Freeman. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett today announced that a record 1.05 million airline seats have been secured from nearly 6,000 flights coming into Jamaica out of the United States during the upcoming winter season. Bartlett said this surge represents an increase of 13% over last winter season, where Jamaica recorded 923,000 airline seats. In sports, McGarth High School created history on Wednesday by making it into its first final of the Issa Water Ben Francis Knockout Cup after defeating six-time champion St. Elizabeth Technical High School 2-1 at Manchester High. Marching right along with them into the final are from Technical, who thrashed Happy Grove 4-0 in their semi-final match. In your currency trading at midday, today one US dollar was being sold for $154.95, the British pound is sterling for $199.80, and the Canadian dollar for $117. In your weather forecast, Friday will be mostly sunny. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Kimon Francis.